Hey guys, Billie Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodle. So Riley and Max puppies are four weeks old. I want to show them off and tell you who's available. So Riley and Max litter of four gorgeous puppies are four weeks old and we are just so excited to show them off. I know we want to show you a little bit of handling, how calm they are, just they are fantastic. I am so, so happy of this litter. We're going to start food and all of that good stuff, but let me go ahead and start with the first puppy and show you how pretty they are. Starters is blue collar male. Er, he's not the most perfect markings. Dark coat, tall socks, big white chest, full muzzle, full tuxedo, back of the head like i don't know how they could get any more precious you see how calm they're just super chunky happy happy puppies so as they are getting older teeth have not came in yet i know we will start food but he definitely doesn't have an underbite I can't tell kind of what it, it looks like everything is fine but if his teeth aren't in yet but we definitely have a good a good lineup so that's good say hi so he has a coat like mac mac kind of had the same thing curly but not too curly like just not kinky kinky curly but definitely a really thick wave So all of our handling that we do now is just this kind of stuff. Pulling everything. Just getting them used to everything. Fingers in their mouth, <laughs> their ears. Lots of handling. So we're done with the scent introduction and the early neurological stimulation. So now we're just lots of handling, lots of sounds. You know, we got our Google, you know, hey Google in there, um, playing, you know, country music, you know, any, all kinds of music. And, um, you know, we have a, an app that we do that can do different puppy sounds that we can have thunder, babies crying, you know, different stuff like that. Getting them used to everything. All right, pretty boy. You ready to go get put up? Let's go grab your sister. So, oh, let me say first before I put them up. So we do have two boys in the litter and we have first pick and second pick. So the boys are reserved. Our very last puppy we show, she's available. Now we do have someone that's coming to visit a different litter tomorrow and they do wanna see her. So who knows if they'll change their mind, but as of right now, she is available. But we'll get to her at the end, but this boy is reserved. Next is Miss Pink, our tuxedo girl. And she is so tiny. So I will get before, when I put her, when I go to put her up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the boy I just had and put them back to back because they are so much different. Like it's, it's you can't, you're gonna be blown away. But this girl is reserved. So it is kind of funny, so she was, being held by one family that was wanting to wait to see about Josie's puppies. And then Josie had a handful of females and they were high pick. So they moved over to that. Well, there was a family on my wait list that was ahead of these other people that had passed and they actually ended up wanting to snatch her up because we can see how small she is. So she is reserved as well. So we've got all the white there, but just kind of a, a tall sock, this whole leg up to the chest. Perfection markings. Yes, I know. So again, things we're doing, wiping everything down, pulling on the ears, <laughs> sticking our fingers in the mouth. Pulling on these legs and the tail. Just getting used to all of the handling so they don't have any type of reactions, especially if they go home to family with kids. 
you know, that type of stuff. I want them used to everything. But isn't she gorgeous? All right, you ready for this difference? Look at the leg length difference. So head to head, look at, the, look at that whole body. You can also see like the nose size difference and the leg difference in the front. It's hard to see when you're holding them. But look at that, head to head, and look at the length of that body. So I thought that was pretty crazy to show. So our next girl that will be the last one, she's this size. And our next boy, which we'll show right now, is this size. So let me go ahead and grab him. Here is Mr. Green. <laughs> that dark, dark red, like so, so dark mahogany. And look at his eyes. He's got those saggy looking eyes. Just kind of a sad face, you know. But he's got beautiful tux markings all the way up the chest down the chin top of the nose up between the eyes doesn't have any like not that big spot on the back of the neck but a little spot what do you think mr green he's really really cute and i think i forgot to show miss pink's teeth but i promise they're fine and we'll show them next time um, again, they're not grown in, but they're like these, you know, they have like everything looks like it's lining up fine. Definitely not an underbite. <laughs> what you looking for? So, and like I said, we do have someone who is first and second pick of males. So our two boys are reserved. So he should have a home as well. He does look like he has a curly coat like Mac. Like a, like a really hard wavy, not super, super curly. What do you think, mister? I'm so excited about this litter. All right, so let's show. Wiping everything down, pulling on our ears, pulling on our legs, our tail. He's so big, I can't hardly hold him with one hand. Our legs. Yes, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Just kind of, not rough handling, but just to where they're not scared. All right, let's go get your last sister. So last is Miss Purple. So she actually is our available puppy. So she's got this red eye and the top of that ear and kind of the inside. This red eye and this whole red ear. Got some red back here <laughs> on your bum. Yes, ma'am. She is tiny though. She's so small. What you think? Of course, she's healthy, she's growing, but she's definitely taking the small genes of the group. Her and Pink both, but she is just, Pink is kind of starting to outgrow her a little bit. So like I said, she is the one that's available, but I do have a family that is coming tomorrow to visit for Poppy's puppies. They have first, first they, have, they have a pick of Poppy's puppies and they want to check her out to make sure that they don't want to change over to her so we normally don't do that but you know what anything that we definitely want our families to be happy so of course we we do what we can and it, it wouldn't hurt to reserve one puppy over the other if they're available <laughs> say hi but i am super excited about how small she is <laughs> And very calm, very happy. Pretty, pretty girl. All right, so let's show how we wipe them down. There's lots and lots of handling. Oh, hi, 
hit your nose. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. That's good, because she didn't get scared. <laughs> she looks like she's just a little grumpy girl. So I do think, I do think that she's wavy. I don't think that she has a curly coat, but I definitely think that she has a lot of wave to her hair. It's so hard to say. I mean, there's absolutely nothing on her back end. There are a little bit of waves on her forehead, but I think it's the thickness of her hair. You know, Riley has really thick hair, but hers is, you know, she's wavy coated, but it lays more flat. So I think this is kind of, they're getting a little bit of thick, they're getting the thickness from her, but kind of the wave from dad. But like I said, we do have that family that's coming to visit her tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are as happy and pleased as I am to see these beautiful tuxedo puppies and beautifully marked party puppies that come from Riley and Mac. You know, I'm so excited to see how they grow up, size difference. You know, we've, we've got a lot of things that kind of are in the factor of their sizes. Just like Riley's mom, even though Riley is like 24 pounds, Riley's mom is 36. So that is the only thing is we have to keep in mind, like the boys are on the bigger side. We've got, you know, two small dogs that we've bred together. You know, Mac is 18, 19. Riley is, you know, 23, 24. But Riley has a mom that's 36 pounds. So we have to make sure we might have some 30 pound puppies. These boys might could get up to 30 pounds, but we kind of hope they stay on the lower side because of the parents. But when you have doodles and you have golden retriever, and poodles all in the mix, they can grab genes that can kind of, you know, make them go different. That's why like Josie, you know, Josie and Kevin, we've got, we've, we've got multiple generations of small, small dogs, which is gonna help us kind of keep them on the smaller side. So, you know, we are trying to produce these petites or, you know, under 22 or 24 pounds, kind of in that range of 18 to 24 but we can't promise anything. You know, doodles are a little bit different. Any dog in general, you know, you can have a lab, one that's 60 pounds or one that's 80, and you just don't know until they get a little bit older. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to go to my website and kind of check out things if you're looking for an update. If you're watching this later, don't forget to hit that subscribe link. If you're not subscribed, then we'll see you next time.